Once upon a time, the fixed nearside bed was absolutely the height of luxury. These days, however, it's all about the transverse island bed. So much so, in fact, that for 2017, Coachman has dropped all but one of its fixed nearside bed models. And that includes the flagship twin axle laser range, with the old 640 making way for this, the new 675. As you can see from that blank wall on the near side, that's where the bedhead of the new transverse island bed sits. As you'd expect from a van of this size and price, it's absolutely loaded with kit. We've got all the expected Alco goodies, heavy duty steadies, external locker access, and a huge front sunroof, which really adds to the looks of a very stylish van. That sunroof, along with a huge roof light overhead, means that it feels lovely and bright in here. And that's also helped by these rather fetching new fabrics in two-tone gray with the majority of them this rather nice pale color. In fact, the gray theme continues throughout the van. We've got gray curtains and these swish new gray soft touch plastics all around, which give a really classy feel. One thing I particularly like is the mounting of the speakers in the front corners here. It should mean that the sound circulates better than when they're flat against the ceiling as they are in most vans. I also like the sense of space. For 2017, the interior length of the lasers has been extended to 6.32 meters. So this is a pretty massive van. That said, this lounge is probably really only for four people. Any more than that is possible to accommodate them, but it's gonna be fairly squeezed. But then of course, this is a four berth van with the front two berths being made up from the sofa here. You pull out the base underneath my seat here and then slide down the cushions. And judging by how comfortable they are to sit on, it should be a pretty comfy bed. And there are masses of storage options in here. We've got three overhead lockers on either side. These two really big, deep drawers beneath the pull-out table in the front chest, which is really nice instead of the very slender drawers that you usually get. And there's access from the inside to the underbed storage space on both sides, although sadly no external access. The lounge may not feel massive, but this combined entrance hall kitchen area really does feel phenomenally spacious. You really can feel that extra room from being on a twin axle chassis. Over here on the near side, where well, we've got a tower refrigerator, really sensibly sited, nice and high, so you don't have to bend down to get things out of it. In front of that, we've got a huge sideboard, which is the ideal place to put your TV. We've got two sockets, so your TV and DVD player can be accommodated, and of course your satellite 12 volt and TV points. Above them, sensibly sited again, is the controls for the Aldi wet central heating system. There's beneath it, this rather neat cupboard with storage for the table, nice and close to the lounge, great to see, and some wire baskets. So ideal place for additional groceries. Above, this is where we used to find the microwave in a coachman, but now it's an empty locker. And over here on the offside, well, we've got the microwave mounted in its own rather natty surround. It looks pretty good. I'm not so keen on the fact that it's directly over the oven and the grill and the hob, which is a rather smart new design with chrome finish and of course a dual fuel hob. The kitchen area itself is hugely spacious. There's a good amount of worktop with no need for a flip up worktop flap. And the sink has its own cover should you need extra space. Beneath, there's a sink and a combined drainer unit, which is a very classy touch. We've got a couple of lockers above and loads of storage beneath with three big drawers and a cupboard. Of course, back here is what this layout is all about, the transverse island bed. And it really does make for a lovely master suite. There's a screen that can be pulled across to separate this area from the rest of the van. And once you're back here, the finish is lovely. We've got two good sized wardrobes, one on either side, with little shelves for your books and tea and cupboards beneath. Each person has a reading light and there are three overhead lockers. There's a very jazzy headboard with the new laser design fabrics on it. And the bed itself is currently in day mode, which means there's masses of space around the foot to get around it to go to the bathroom. At night, you simply pull it out and it measures six foot two inches long once the mattress top has been flipped over. That's unusually big for this layout, which is great to see. One thing that's not quite so good is it is a little bit dark in here. That's partly because we're parked underneath a tree to be fair, but also perhaps this roof light could have been a little bit bigger, but you have got a good sized window that faces you when you're in bed. One thing I really like, however, 
is the dressing table in the corner of the room here. There's a cupboard above, a really big cupboard beneath, plus of course all the points for your TV which can sit on the sideboard there, along with all your makeup and of course there's a mirror above just to check you put it on right. Bearing in mind the size of the rest of the van, the washroom could have been larger, but it's wide enough not to feel cramped and it's certainly well equipped, with a backlit mirror, two bathroom cabinets and some useful shelves. There's a radiator for the Aldi wet central heating in here, a spoked window and a small roof light, though again perhaps it could have been a bit bigger to keep things nice and bright. The huge shower cubicle is fully lined and features a new Eco Camel Jetstream shower head, plus a couple of useful shelves. Amazingly, Coachman's best-selling van isn't a budget entry-level model, but this, the flagship single axle, the VIP 575. Now, if there's a criticism of the 575, it's that it could do with a bit more space, both in the lounge and in the kitchen area. So, enter the 675, which Coachman is confident will soon be its best-selling twin axle. If you can afford a price tag well north of £25,000 and you have a big enough tow car, it's hard to see why you wouldn't pick it.